Why do we have fluoride in everything? Fluoride in toothpaste, and some people, fluoride in their water, and ju there's just no way to get around it. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. So where does the fluoride come from, and are we talking about fluoride that occurs naturally? And the answer is no. Uh, we recall, uh, it's actually uh, uh, fluorocytic acid, which is a byproduct of the fertilizer industry and the aluminum industry. It is a byproduct that they are required to scrape off of the stacks of their uh, manufacturing plants, the chimney stacks, right? Off of their manufacturing plants as required by the EPA. The EPA requires them to scrub this off of their stacks to remove this as a hazardous product from the environment. But when they turn around and take that highly toxic chemical and sell it to water uh, uh, water plants around the nation, sell it to uh, toothpaste manufacturers, it is perfectly all right. Why? Because then they call it fluoride. It is not fluoride. It's, it's not. It's not naturally occurring fluoride. Uh, when they were doing the aluminum uh, manufacturing uh, uh, for the uh, bomb, the atomic bomb, during the testing for what was it, World War II, the farmers sued because all of their livestock were was pa uh, dying and being uh, slaughtered by this uh, chemical. Uh, they kept that under wraps and made sure that they completely turned it around and then with PR said that it was not fluoride that was causing the problem, it was something else. So the question of today is, how do you get rid of fluoride? Uh, fluoride interferes with the pineal gland, which regulates serotonin, which is your happy drug to keep you happy. And if that interferes with the serotonin, it will make you depressed. This is a chemical reaction that occurs naturally in the body. The presence of serotonin makes you happy. The lack of serotonin makes you depressed. It also interfer interferes with melatonin, which allows you to go to sleep, right? So if you're having uh, sleeping problems, if you do not sleep for a full eight hours straight, if you, have, if you get up in the middle of the night to pee, you are having a problem with your pineal gland. It is not that you get up to pee, it's that you wake up and then go pee. Understand that little process there. A lot of people think that they get up in the night and, and even some, uh, some doctors, some terrible doctors uh, say that you wake up to go pee and that maybe you should cut down on drinking water before bed. That's not the problem. Our bodies as adults, uh, who uh, are have been potty trained do not wake up to go pee you wake up and then you go pee you wake up and your body says oh you're awake let's go pee because i have been filtering all of this stuff out of you and i have accumulated enough uh, water in the lower intestine to go pee right fluoride is the cause of this the interruption in the pineal gland is the cause of this. The Harvard study, uh, study showed that children explo uh, exposed to fluoride have lower IQs. And we all have heard the uh, rumor, uh, which is factual, that the Nazis during World War II used fluoride on the uh, intern uh, population, uh, their prison interns, to lower their IQ, make them depressed, make them more docile so that they wouldn't escape, they wouldn't think for themselves. This is what's going on here. This might be a bright product. There's people who say, oh, well, it's a global conspiracy to make the population stupid or make the population docile. The evidence is that it does make you uh, have a lower IQ. And I don't want to say oh, I, lower IQ. It lowers your intelligence and it makes you docile. So those are factual. Of course, the best way to remove the fluoride from your home completely is to have a reverse osmosis filter installed into your sink, installed into all of the water outlets in your house. That includes a bathtub and shower, all the sinks, 
uh, commode. Uh, I know you're not drinking out of the commode, but the exposure is the exposure. Fluoride doesn't just stay in the water, it is uh, a gas as well, so uh, being exposed to it is exposure, period. So a reverse osmosis filtration system put into the installed into the home. This is to remove fluoride from the home. Uh, also fluoride free toothpaste. Uh, they put it in the toothpaste and it is not the fluoride that the dentists say helps the uh, teeth become strong. That is a complete lie. That is the opposite of what it is. The dentist is talking about naturally occurring fluoride and they have done interviews where they, where they showed the dentist the uh, fluorocytic acid and the dentist was not aware that this was the product that was in the toothpaste. He thought it was naturally occurring fluoride. I don't know if, if, if that's true or if he is just one of the rare uh, stupid dentists or did he actually know and he was just pretending not to know just so his patients wouldn't leave him if they saw him on camera. But what dentists are saying is fluoride is not what they are talking about. They are talking about naturally occurring fluoride like if you drilled a well in on your property and there was naturally occurring, uh, occurring fluoride in the ground. That is something completely different than what we are talking about that you are exposed to. Almost nobody is explo exposed to naturally occurring fluoride. For the most part, fluoride is a toxin, is toxic to your body. If you intake enough calcium, your teeth will be ex uh, strong enough for you, the, your entire life. So you don't need fluoride to strengthen your teeth. That is a complete misconception. Now, how do you remove fluoride from your body once you're exposed to it? Here are the things. You would uh, have an intake of iodine on a daily basis. Uh, I use a, a kelp pill that uh, the kelp, of course, absorbs iodine. And then when we eat the kelp, we get the iodine, right? Just like when we eat the cow, we get the uh, uh, omega-3s that the cow eats if he is a naturally grazing cow. Calcium, magnesium, zinc, they come in a, a pill form. I don't want to show the pills because I, I don't want to uh, promote any one, uh, one uh, name brand. So just go look for this yourself. Calcium, magnesium, zinc, it comes uh, in a three for one package. You, you get one pill with all three things in it. The manufacturers have now deem that those three go together. Lecithin, this also helps remove fluoride. And boron, B-O-R-O-N, boron. So that's iodine, calcium, magnesium, zinc pills, lecithin pills, and boron pills. These will remove fluoride from your body. Take this on a daily basis. If you're having trouble sleeping, I'm going to assume that it will take three to six months before you completely evacuate the, the, the floor or start evacuating the fluoride from your body and make sure you just don't ingest any more fluoride. So you get rid of the toothpaste, you get you put a filtration system in your house to get remove the fluoride. It is a toxin. There is nothing good about it. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody lie to you. If if they are convinced that fluoride is, is good for you, they are just foolish and they are not to be listened to. On the free fluoride-free toothpaste, what you're looking for is the uh, fluoride-free toothpaste with xylitol. Uh, there is gum with xylitol and if you notice when you chew the gum with xylitol, your the, the teeth enamel will be very smooth. It uh, breaks down the plaque in your mouth. So you want the fluoride free toothpaste. If enough people finally start uh, getting the fluoride free toothpaste, they will simply remove uh, fluorided uh, toothpaste from the market. It is not naturally occurring fluoride. Do not be mistaken. Do not be confused. In no uncertain terms are you to ever use toothpaste with fluoride. First of all, it's unnecessary. 
you don't even know how much you're getting. How much? You, how, how many milligrams a day, a day are you uh, ingesting through the water and through the toothpaste? You have no idea, do you? You have no idea. So this is not a medically supervised intake of fluoride on any sort of level whatsoever. Literally, the people who put the fluoride into the water, the EPA has and OSHA have written standards of how the people should be dressed for safety. If you see the people, they are dressed head to toe in hazmat, hazmat suits with the goggles, with the gloves, with the, the boots. Uh, it is a toxic, toxic chemical. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And like I said, if they tell you, oh, fluoride is so great for you, they are foolish. They have no idea what they're talking about because the fluoride that they think that they're talking about has nothing to do with the stuff in the water nor the stuff in the toothpaste. It's the same exact thing. It is an industrial byproduct. Do yourself a favor. Also, you're going to notice uh, if you have joint pain, you have trouble walking, if you have trouble climbing stairs, uh, if you have pains in your legs and in your arms this could be fluorosis you can go look that up fluorosis on the internet and see pictures of people with full-blown fluorosis they have the bowed legs uh, their bones are brittle I mean it is disgusting this is what is going on in America we need to take this out of our system completely again that's iodine calcium magnesium zinc lecithin and boron thank you for watching leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you i want 100 percent participation in and leaving me a comment tell me what you think if you agree if you disagree if you disagree you're foolish you're playing with your life or you're trying to you're you're working for the industry who wants to uh do away with the uh, get rid of the fluoride for the epa's sake and that's what's going on thank you for watching the shikama live show